Let's take a trip down memory lane. Check oh, it out. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think she has got something for me. I think she fancies me. If, let's say, you told me right now you have a boyfriend, I'd be like, uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But you know that I'm seeing someone. I genuinely didn't pick up that you liked me. And if you did, then you should have, like, said, like... We were totally misunderstood. And I thought, in, and I still do think, in my opinion, yeah. I've made it clear. I am flattered that he, that he likes me, but he's making it awkward now. And I can see, like, if I'm in a room, he won't come in the room. He's just not, he's not interested now. I don't know if it's because I'm not going to give him what he wanted. It's hard because I understand the situation. And it's hard for you when you fancy someone and, they, and they've said no. It's kind of like, fuck off. But where did you draw the line? Well, where she's drawn it. I think you've just got to leave it. You'll keep your pride by going. I do believe that she's led you on. It's not my fault if I don't fancy him. I've got a guy back home. I've told him that. No, I'm not going to beg him, you know what I mean? I'm not that kind of guy. I'm a nice guy. How would you react if your boyfriend was in Big Brother and slept next to a girl? I don't wish to discuss that with you. It's a bit of a boring subject now, so let's move on, shall we? But you will most certainly discuss it with me, young lady. <laughs> OK, tell us, please, in your own words, what happened with Ashley? It started out so well, where did it all go terribly wrong for you? Me and Ash, the first two days, got on so well, and then everyone kept making hints at me, oh, like, you should go on a date when you get out, you should go to this place, and I was like, what's going on here? And then he mentioned to me that he liked me, and I was like, oh, my God. And then before that, I had a chance to draw the line. It had already escalated, I just thought he was a friend. And I do, I love him to bits, but I told him that I, had, I was seeing someone on the first night I was there. And I didn't think that I had to stop being his friend because of that, but apparently... Do you think, um, it's a, I think you're in a different position where you know a male fancies you, but do you think because then a certain stage you were lying in bed with him, you were being very, very on feely bed. touchy on bed with him beside you, that he misread the signals because he did not know where the boundaries were? Because you would say, I have a boyfriend, but then... Mm, yeah. I can see where I can see. I know exactly where I've gone wrong, but Tell, I just want where. Where do you think by, you've by gone wrong? By doing things like that, like if he was stood there, I'd go come and give me a hug. But I'd do that to anyone in there. Yeah. I was only trying to keep it like the same. Um, do you think because of that, it's overshadowed your time in the house yeah. and stop you having relationships with other housemates? Yeah. I even said that yesterday. I said I feel like the whole Ashy thing has ruined my whole time in here because that's what I'm known for now, for giving him false impressions or anything like that. And I think it made you feel not part of the yeah. clique, the group that you were yeah. in. because I couldn't go over to them because I knew that half the time they were talking about me and they'd just go quiet and I'd be like, awkward. If you had your time all over again, would you do any of it differently? No, I don't think I would. OK. No. And how have you left the situation with Ashley? How are you two now? I think after yesterday, when I went mad in the diary room, I think he knows now exactly where he stands. You were like, I'm not talking to you, change yeah. the subject. You seemed actually quite bored by the whole thing it, towards I'm, the I, end. I was sick of it. I, wanted to, I didn't want to be known for that. Like, I was trying to have fun, and every time I try and have fun, oh, I've touched Ashley's leg, and then I'd be thinking, oh, it my God. It made you really conscious. Yeah. Um, what do you think your boyfriend has made of what's just oh, happened no with Ashley idea, over the last two weeks. I don't know what's been shown, but I think he knows. I, I trust him and I hope he trusts me as well. And if something had happened, he would have seen it. I have to tell you, he declined an invite to come on the oh. show tonight. <laughs> he declined to attend the show. Does that make you conscious of what's just happened over the last two weeks? Probably, yeah. OK. Now, one person, let's talk about something happy. One person you did get on with, who was your BFF, she always had your back. Yeah. Of course, that was Danica. Yeah. Let's see you two in action. <laughs> oh my god! Hi. Did you get booed? No, did, did you? you? Yes. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is our bed. So if we get lonely, we can go. She's lovely to look at in the morning. I was sharing a bed with her. I didn't How long did you two know each other before you came here? Two, two years. Two, two years? Sure. Yeah, why? That's a long time. Danica's like my big sister. Oh, she's such a lovely girl. Rian, do you fancy a bat? <laughs> I'm glad that me and Rian are together, though, because it means we can go through the pain together. Oh, jeez, you're not allowed to touch. <laughs> I've become quite close to Rian in the house, and Rian's a lovely, lovely person. What was it? 
heard about Danica that you two bonded straight away? I think we're just on the same level. She's now, just... you've, you've known each other for two years, but we've we met up two or three each, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was it like having someone in there that you could trust inside the house? It was better to know that I had someone there that I kind of got the gist of, do you know what I mean? I could always go to her. And what would your relationship have been like if Danica hadn't been part of Celebrity Big oh, Brother? Oh, God, I would have been on my own, wouldn't I? <sighs> you kind of would. Now, let's also talk about your other um, drama inside the house. That, of course, was with Jasmine, because when we watched it, you two are on the bed, you're kind of laughing, joking, you then get upset, and then she just goes a little wild. Oh. Talk us, because watching it, it looked uncomfortable. Talk us through what happened there she with Jasmine. She made me feel uncomfortable a few days before, and I was trying to keep my distance from her, and then she was trying to be nice, and after I had a rant the day before about her, I felt a bit two-faced, like having her sat next to me and holding my hand. So I just said, look, Jasmine, this is what's been going on, and she just flipped. And did you have a better time in the house since uh, J Jasmine left? You felt a bit more relaxed? OK, now we have to talk about the big love triangle. Now, I know she's your best friend. What is going on with Danica, the situation, and Prince Lorenzo? We want to know, don't we, guys? Yeah! Honestly... OK, we hear you. <laughs> Who honestly, does she fancy? Honestly, Rian, tell I, me the truth. I don't know. I've tried to stay out of it because I didn't want to get in that. But I, I want to hear. I'd like to say if, if she picked one, it would be Prince. Really? Yeah. So if she didn't have if. a boyfriend and if she was going to pick one, yeah. you would hope it would be Prince Lorenzo. Yeah. You, you think they're more evenly matched than the situation? Yeah, yeah, much more. What is it about Prince Lorenzo then you think she should choose him? He's just more, like, sophisticated. He's a proper gentleman and I think the situation's a bit more of a playboy. I Danica. think we like that, ladies, don't we? We like a playboy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, it's a double eviction um, on Friday. This Friday, two housemates will be leaving. Who would you like to leave the house on Friday? Um, two names. Julie after Julie that. Julie after that. Ooh. And Sam. Sam. Thanks very much. Uh, you've been a great houseman. Here are your Thank best you. bits. Enjoy. You're welcome. It's Rian Sugden. Hi. 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 Nice. I know. <laughs> we all went, wow. Ashley fancies Rian. He's an amazing guy. He's fit. He is attractive. I don't think I'm beating Ashley. She's so ostracised now. Yeah, I know it's difficult because he fancies her. Do you know that I'm seeing someone? Yeah. Yeah, you knew that. I genuinely didn't pick up that you liked me. I thought I made it clear. Ash hasn't spoken to me since four o'clock. He's in bits though, babes. Is he? You are part of his heart, innit? You know? If I act a certain way around you, people think I'm leading you on. And then people are going, oh, she's being really horrible to him. Ashley is starting to drive me a little bit insane. I feel a bit awkward around him. I'm flattered that he, that he likes me. I do believe that she's led you on. And I do believe that she said things to you. I feel so intimidated by that girl. Do you know what I mean? Jasmine, you have kicked off with so many people in this house. Let me tell you something. On my child's life, that's not true. You are a liar. You're a liar. She's making me look fucking stupid. I don't think I can stay till Wednesday like this. When you had your bikini on, like, I wouldn't be able to resist you. Thanks, Michael. These are mine. That deserves a cut. Rian, she's a really pretty girl. She's lovely to look at in the morning. I wish you could have done this a bit drier. She brings a positive energy. I've learned a lot about Rian. Do you know what 20% of 100 is? 5%. I feel like I'm missing something. She's a really nice girl and she's been nice to me and she'd be cool, do you know what I mean? Do we have to go up there? <laughs> no, no, actually, I want to. <laughs> it's been emotional. <laughs> One minute I can be the happiest person, then the next minute I'm crying, then I'm angry. Help! I know it's going to be one of them things I'm going to get out and I'm going to have loved it. I've impressed myself. I'd like to think um, happy memories. Yeah. And a very important question, Rian. Who do you want to win Celebrity Big Brother? One name. Danica. Danica, only time to talk. Thank you very much. There you go, your friend must be sitting right over there. There you go, thank you. Oh! So, she wants Samantha and Julie out on Friday, and she wants Danica to win. It's official. Rian is out. You can keep up to date with all of the house action every night here on Channel 5. And tonight, 
the remaining celebrities will be forced to make face-to-face -face nominations, which you will see in full on tomorrow night's show. And the sexy Emma is up next a bit on the side. Hi, Emma. Hi, Brian. Yes, join me after the break when tonight's Vic D will be here. Plus, I'll be revealing who will face the next public vote. I'm not going to tell you who we're voting for, though. You don't want to miss it. Oh, I will not swear. I'll see you back here on Friday at 9 for another live eviction. And it's going to be massive as well. We are saying goodbye to two celebrities. Yes, it's going to be a double eviction. Good night. See you Friday. about 100 yards away, they'll be out there. Yeah. Probably maybe getting in their car now or queuing up to get out, but they were here. Your family? Yeah. All my best friend, Leanne, may have come down with my sister or one of them three. They were out there. And I know that would have been hard for them to hear all of that. And I know that my, I know that my sister would have got really upset because she don't, she don't think of it as a game. She just thinks of her sister as I would. Do you know what I mean? It's hard, isn't it? It's hard for, for family. It is because family. Don't I think understand. it's harder for family because remember they've had to read everything that's been yeah. written, see everything that's been shown, heard all of us in the diary yeah. room, possibly like, slagging their loved ones off. It's so much harder for the family. It is. Yeah, I agree. And I said that to my lot before I left. I said, look, get off Twitter. Yeah, I said it as well. You know, yeah. get off Facebook. I said, because there will be people out there that, that are going to slag me off and all of that, and it's not nice for you. And I said, and it's going to be harder for you. And they were like, it won't be harder for us. I said, trust me, it will. We're in a bubble. We're protected from all the shit, really. Mm. And I said, you aren't, and you're going to have to read things. And, you know, I said, so if you do read it, don't take it to heart. But you can't help it when it's one of your loved ones. Mm. I was convinced tonight it was going to be a double. Yeah, me too. I really thought it's got to be a double because it's there's too many Friday, of us. Yes. It's got to be a double, double on Friday. On Friday. But you had a very good point, Martin, earlier. Or was it you or somebody about they want to get the most out of the celebrities in the house and have them in it for as long as possible? Yeah, Is right. that you that said yeah, that's yeah. A, I didn't even think of that, but that's yeah. a really good there point. There also might be one day where we're all up. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the then they'll, they'll, they'll go, this week you're all up for nominations. Because yeah, right, yeah. they do that as well, don't they?